Pen Bandit says, I was driving a flatbed and picked up a load of construction material. I strapped everything down, put a tarp over the load, and left. About five miles down the road, in the middle of nowhere, I noticed my tarp flapping in the wind. I found a wide shoulder and pulled over to fix it. I realized that I did a bad job tarping this load the first time and decided to redo it on the side of the road. I undid all the bungee straps, dragged the tarps off, rolled them back up, climbed up on the load, and started unrolling the tarps again. That's when I saw a guy walking down the same side of the road I was on, coming toward my truck. I didn't think anything about it, other than to keep an eye on him because I was in the middle of nowhere, and continued what I was doing. About the time I had the tarp set in place and was climbing down to start hooking the bungee straps back on, this dude was getting close enough that I was now paying more attention to him than I was to tarping my load. I grabbed my winch bar and set it on the trailer where I was working, just in case. The guy got to me and the first thing I noticed was his hair. It was like a mullet but patchy, like he tried to cut his own hair and had a seizure in the process. The next thing I noticed were his eyes which I can only describe as off. Like they were clear and he seemed sober, but they also gave me the distinct impression that the elevator didn't go all the way up. His clothes were dirty and not well maintained, with dirty white tennis shoes. I remember he didn't have laces on one shoe and the tongue was noticeably out of place. He stopped by me and waited until I acknowledged him. His words made me shiver. He just said, I've got a long walk. I was like, yeah, man, you do. We're in the middle of nowhere. Making it clear there's no ride to be had here. He nodded and started walking by me, continuing on his way. Then he stopped at about the driver door on my truck and turned around, came back to me and repeated himself. I've got a long walk. At this point, I explained explicitly that I couldn't give him a ride, insurance and all that. I apologized for not being able to help him out. He seemed to accept this, turned around and left. I waited for him to get a little ways away from my truck and started working on finishing the tarp job. I still kept an eye on him and he was moving away from me. As I was putting on the last of the bungee straps, I looked over to check where he was at and he was turned around, headed back towards me. He was now about a hundred yards in front of my truck and coming back my way. It looked like he was talking on a cell phone. He had his hand up to his face and I could barely make out his mouth moving. Meanwhile, his other hand was waving like he was having a conversation with someone. I finished with the straps, grabbed my winch bar, and was climbing into the truck, as he was about 10 yards away now. As soon as I was in the cab, I locked the doors and set the winch bar on the passenger seat, just in case. I looked at the guy and realized he wasn't talking on the phone. He was just talking to his hand. Now I was really nervous because he didn't look like he was having a nice, pleasant chat. It looked more like an angry conversation. I cranked the truck up, put it in gear, and just pulled out. Didn't look for traffic or anything. As I passed him, he was just looking at me, still holding his hand to his face, and just staring at me. It gave me the creeps. About the time I hit fifth or sixth gear, I looked in the mirror, and there was no one there.